patient upset with little Joe, and that is in the scene where uh, the other show we did, he tracks me down, and little Joe and I had a scene to do together. Oh. And uh, I came on the set that day to do the scene with him, and I was about, about six or seven pages, a lot to learn. Anyway, he walked onto the set and looked at the dialogue, the pages. He said, this doesn't work for me. And I thought, my goodness, this is better because I've burned a lot of dialogue and you don't, you're changing it all. So he uh, went to his dressing room to, to direct a call of lunch hour early. And uh, he went to his dressing room and rewrote the scene. He was good at doing that. Anyway, uh, he came back to the set and handed me my new written pages. When we did the scene, it was better. See, he was used to doing the little Joe types of understanding or impressions and physicalities. And uh, I thought, well, it's a better scene anyway. The upright Bible spouting Mr. Johnson uh, hasn't told us everything. It's interesting to me to observe how Michael Landon developed through the years with his character. Uh, as the show progressed, he seemed to have taken on more authority in the dialogue and the, uh, the playing of the scenes. And uh, the, the players would listen to him. Dortort would listen to him. And uh, he would rewrite a whole screenplay. But that was because he, the show was so popular, so popular, that the, the uh, fans would observe it and tell you when things were changed. But it was better. I thought it, I thought it was better.